Hi, my name is Phil Wilkes, also known as Phil W Online, and in this video we're going to look at producing a panoramic image from Google Street View for use in 3D programs. Now, this will be in JPEG format, and in the next video I'm going to tell you how to convert JPEG panoramas into full HDRIs. But for the moment, let's have a look at this. Start by opening in your browser iStreetView.com and it will come up with the random location as you can see here. You can choose anywhere in the world that has got Street View pictures available. So you can do your own neighbourhood, you can do a favourite holiday location anywhere in the world. I'm going to choose Nice in the south of France. And if we zoom in to the seafront Then I want to have a picture somewhere along the um, the seafront here on the Promenade des Anglais. So what we're going to do is to add a pin to the map. So click there and then click somewhere on here. And if we click here, then we can see the image that we're going to get. Now. As with any Street View image, there's going to be, it's put together by multiple pictures, so there's going to be potentially artifacts on there. You can see something here, but in general it does a very good job of producing a nice panoramic image. And this is nice, it's got some nice sunshine on it, which will be useful when we come to do the HDRI. You can also select a random street view from anywhere in the world. That's useful for producing scenes that you might not otherwise have thought of and produce some, some really interesting environments in which to make your renders. But for now, we're gonna, I'm going to stick with this picture here. So now what, what we need to do is to convert that and download all of the data. Now, if you click here, you can see there's some instructions for doing that. And first of all, you need to download and open Street View Download 360. Now I've already got that ready. So you can see that here. And we're going to select a location to save. And I'm going to call this Promenade des Anglais Nice. You can save in either JPEG or PNG. But I think that JPEG is fine for this and will produce smaller files. Then what you need to do is to copy this particular code here. So I'm going to click on there and that automatically copies it. And then if we go back here, we can paste that into the panorama ID. You can select the resolution. Um, so there's everything from about 400 by 200, which is really small right up to over 13,000 by over 6,500. So we're going to use the maximum resolution available and then we just click download. And then once the panorama has been downloaded, um, it will present you with an image here in panoramic format, which you can then use in your 3D programs. And if you see the next part, we'll look at how to convert that into an HDRI.